so here we have a vertical electrical sounding data of uh, 200 meters depth we have the ab by 2 value and we have the mn value and we have the rho a value here in ip to i win it takes only mn value so whatever the mn by 2 value you have you have to multiply with the 2 and then you have to add it in the ip to i win software so i have opened the software in this software uh, you have a, a blank document which is for uh, adding the data so in this you have different different options uh, like ab by 2 mn rho a sp v i and k when you are using the row format only the ab by 2 mn and rho will be highlighted but when you are going for the v i format then the sp voltage current and the geometric factor will be highlighted so you can uh, add the values according to your wish right now we have uh, ab by 2 mn and rho a values so we are only going for that value here you have a slumberger uh, method and uh, half slumberger werner alpha werner beta pole and pole but right now we have the data for slumberger only so we are uh, only going for the slumberger format so i open the excel file and from that excel file i am copying the uh, ab by 2 values into the software and mn values in the software and rho a values into the software so copy and then go for the first column ab by 2 and paste the values and then uh, go for the mn values and then uh, paste the values in the mn column of the software and then go for the rho a values and then uh, paste it in the rho a so once you have pasted the rho a values in the chart you can uh, see the apparent rasticity on the y axis and spacing on the x axis and the points are plotted in the graph sheet so this is uh, one step and then after that you have to go for the save text option in which uh, you will be saving the whole data in a text format so here you can see the number of points uh, they are like uh, you can see the numbers by clicking on the show number so you can see the number of points that are recorded if you don't want you can leave the show numbers and now to start the process we have to just uh, uh, take out the numbers and then click ok so when you are clicking ok after saving the text in the text format then you have to go for the ok option in that ok option uh, the format will be qwseln which is an ip 2 i win uh, format after that you will be seeing uh, a bus graph which will give you the ab by 2 values mn values similar to the points which are plotted in the west point sheet once this is done you can simply click ok and then you need to go for the main sheet or the plotting sheet in which you will be matching the lines so here uh, if you click ok then uh, you have to uh, see three things here the black line is your uh, original data which you have collected from the field and the red line is the matching line this line should be matched with your uh, data and the blue line is the controller for the red line so we will be moving the blue line up and down to match the red line with the black so I, when I am moving it up and down, the line is also moving. So we will start with the origin first. We will join both the origins at a particular point and then we will move the blue line up and down and here you can split the line to divide it into two parts and then uh, you can adjust according to the black line only for identification i am telling it as red and black line so you just have to carefully match each line with patience and when you are uh, matching the lines here you see the error percentage has decreased from 64 so the better you match the red and the black line the lesser the error percentage the lesser the error percentage then more accurate your readings will be 
so with a lot of patience you have to just uh, try to match both the lines and when you practice more you'll understand how to split the line how to join the line and how to match the red and the black lines so here i have made the uh, half of the line now i'm splitting the other part and then uh, trying to match the line as good as possible uh, with uh, as low error as possible so this line is coming down so i'm just watching the movement of the line when i'm moving it forward and backward how it is moving based on that i can understand which area i have to split and which area i have to join so it is here like this and then uh, it is somewhat okay now if i want to split the line i need to check whether uh, the remaining part of the line is fine or not and then uh, i think i can split the line here or i can just move the line little up and then uh, split you must be very careful about uh, splitting the lines also because uh, the more splits you do the more number of layers you will get so based on that you just have to see and then you have to uh, do the splits so here uh, you have this split and if you have anything uh, to join again you can directly right click on the line and then uh, go for the join also so whatever the line that has become split that will be joined again and will become a straight line here uh, we are almost done for the 70 percent now you just have to move the other 80 percent is done and uh, even the error factor has come to a single digit so it is seven right now but we need to do for uh, even better as low error as possible So here we can see it is 7 almost and it is coming down to 3. So we need to go down and then adjust the line properly. It is 5% now and I am just splitting it a little down to see if I can get uh, better accuracy like 1% uh, or something. okay so i think it's almost here with the uh, four percent okay so once you are uh, done with uh, as many layers as you can and as much low accuracy low error you can then you can uh, go for the inversion also inversion will help you in uh, matching automatically to reduce the error this is to be done only once you achieve the error less than 5 once you achieve the error manually till 5 then you can go for the inversion and the remaining will be automatically matched and the error factor will reduce ok so this is uh, fine now a little bit adjustment so after this once you minimize this one you can see the number of layers and the data if you feel like the number of layers are more or the depth is too low then you can uh, undo the line by joining and then you can see i have made a measurement in 200 meters of depth so i am trying to get 200 meters in my uh, depth chart so i am trying to adjust the line again the parameters what you will be seeing in the table will be row and then uh, thickness of each layer and then the depth of depth of each layer will be uh, seen so we are uh, done here for the graph and just trying to acquire as low as possible so we are almost done here now you can see the row values and i'm going for the inversion to get better accuracy now the error is only one percent so I can now start the process of interpretation and you have to refer to the local geology 
and then find out or you need to consult a geologist or a geophysicist for the interpretation part. Now you see we have uh, almost uh, 10 layers or 11 layers and uh, we have the row values and then we have the thickness of each layer and then the depth of uh, each layer. So if we want to represent, I am just showing you in a word document about the row and the thickness and the depth also. So when we take the first layer uh, h equal to 1.05 which means the thickness of the first layer is uh, 1.05 meters and then the depth from the surface is 1.05 meters here. So you can assume this as the first layer and then uh, uh, I'm writing it here as uh, the height is 1.05 meters and then the depth is uh, 1.05 meters and then uh, we'll also add the second layer. This is only just for uh, giving an idea how the IP to I win is representing the data to you. Okay, and then uh, we'll add the second layer. The second layer is, is uh, 1.17 meters of thickness and it is 2.21 meters of deep. I will also show you how this depth and the thickness are uh, related to each other. Or I can uh, instead of uh, height I can write the thickness also. So I will mention this height instead of uh, the height where I will mention it as thickness. So the thickness of the first layer is 1.05 meters and then the depth from the top is 1.05 meters. And then uh, the second thickness is 1.17 meters and then the depth is 1.05 meters or it is increasing to 2.21 like that. So to know the relationship between H and uh, depth, I will uh, open the calculator and I can uh, show it to you once. So that way we can understand like uh, how to know the depth and the height. This is again the third layer uh, which is uh, 0 0.556 and uh, depth is 2.77. Okay. Coming to the next, I'm just adding the color so that uh, to identify what are the different layers. And again this is only for the reference. We have to get the geological map and uh, geophysical data from any geologist or geophysicist. So right now it is 1.05 is the first layer and the second layer thickness is 1.17. So if I add both then I am getting the depth of 2.21 or 2.22 and for the same depth 2.22 if I add the thickness of 0 0.556 I am getting 2.77 depth. So likewise the thickness increases the depth also increases. So this is how uh, you will be doing the basic IPI to win uh, data interpretation and graph plotting. So I got 4.24 now and then uh, I'm adding a little more value the 7th layer and 8th layer 9th and 10th. So finally I'm getting the total depth of 200 meters here. That data I can see in the table also. So once this is done you can just uh, go for the save and export so you can directly get the table and also the graph for further report generation and all so i'm directly going for the file here and then go for the export and go for the bnp that is a bitmap file so you click on uh, the option called table and column so you will get the both uh, the graph and also the values here and then you can save it as an image file and then you can open it you can take a printout and then you can uh, give it to the report also so I am opening this file and the image you will directly get is a BMP file you can convert into JPG and then you can save it 